Meanwhile, in Doma Castle, okay. Oh. I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Oh. Oh, he knows I killed Bahamut? Prepare the airship. His radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. Oh. Okay. Whoa! That is really uncalled for. Cut your hair! Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. Oh, man. The cause of your petty hatreds. They render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope. To make an example of Doma. Such as was ordered. Hmm. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. <laughs> oh shit. You're in trouble now. <laughs> Do your duty now. Or die with the rest of them. Or you can join with us. Honestly. If you're that scared, just join us. Oh, are you alright, my lady? That was uncalled for. Yeah, that was uncalled for. Uh-oh. They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. Oh. Uh, me? I want her dead. I want her friends dead. Okay. I want the heads of everyone she knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. Oh, okay. okay. I, I thought we could be friends, you know? <laughs> you mean... You mean I can finally go after her? Oh, man. <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, she won't escape this time. Not this time. Oh, no. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, meanwhile, in the fringes of Garabania. Oh, we're going back here again? Huh. It's been a while, actually. Oh. Who's the- <gasps> Oh my god! I. This is the place. <laughs> it's a skinny when unit! When was banished, you swore to leave this life behind. And yet here you are. It's a skinny Oh my god! Oh man! If this be the work of the eyes, what choice do you have but to end it? <laughs> or so the boy would say, damn you, Alphano. <laughs> oh my god, the music's getting me hyped! Estinian! <laughs> Bro, I cannot believe Estinian is back! I thought he would be, like, doing something else. I think he heard something about Shinryu coming here. Because that's what he was looking for, right? <laughs> I guess he knows something about Nidhogg not being able to rest, and it kind of- the eyes that, um, Shinryu now possess is, like, in that weird cave there. <laughs> oh god. Yay! The Azim Step! Oh 
Oh, wow. I remember the emptiness, vast and endless. The Azim Steppe, home to countless roaming tribes. A sacred land, watched over by elder gods. Here, we would find Doma's salvation. Oh. With the wind at our wow. Place, we walked on, in search of hope, in search of him. In search of Lord Hien! Wow. Music's very nice. I give you the Azim step, Nemu. Though I should say that this is but one small portion of it, okay? Despite the close proximity, Domans rarely venture this far north. Most find these lands and their people strange and foreign. Fortunately, those who frequent reunion are more welcoming than most. Come, it is not much further. I wonder what Lord Hian is like. From what I'm told, he's very goofy, <laughs> but he's very serious as well. So, very curious. Welcome to Reunion, my friends. Here is where we will begin our search for Lord Hien. Okay. You look very different from the rest. Just saying. <laughs> so I will talk to you. Oh, oh, I see. You are looking for Hien. In that case... How urgent this business must be to leave our conversation unfinished. The Kinsai. Will you buy it? There is not what, but one bundle left. If not, then... I will, I will! Though I had not thought to pay so high a price. <laughs> it is a bargain for which you should be grateful. If you lack the coin, then the fault is your own. And you will leave with nothing. Well... Please, I must have the Kinsai. The gods themselves requested it. We are bound to their will. I'll buy it for you. Pay me the difference in Whisper in Whisper Root. Okay, I will sell it to the next apothecary to pass the reunion, and we fe we will feel fairly treated. Okay, but do not tarry. Should another come before you, coined in hand, I will not refuse him. I understand. Thank you for this kindness. I'm sorry, but we must speak of Hien later. I cannot leave Reunion without the Kinsai. Okay, I can help you. That's one. Welcome back, Nimu. Have you brought the Whisper Root? Yep. How goes the search? Any luck? Of course. <laughs> well met, Serena. If you have an inkling as to the current whereabouts of Lord Hien, we should be most grateful for your assistance. Yes. Oh, please. It is I who should be grateful. Hold! <gasps> what is this? I came first, you second! What? Know you to whom you speak? All people of the steppe should. Or have you fought so much that you have forgotten the face of your superiors? Oh no. Superiors? I spit on your superiority, little prince. Twisted and mad as sand devils, your kind are. Oh, don't fight. This is a marketplace. Those boys are of the Oronir and Dothal, the two strongest tribes. Ah. The children of Azim are destined to rule. So they declare to all who will listen. Their word is law. For now. For now. Men, flamboyant fighters, but deadly. Very deadly. He prances as a horse, as do his brothers after their many recent victories. Okay. 
The Undyne ones too are strong, fearless, and vicious. They often reigned in the past. Now they are sorely tested. Ah. Uh, oh. I shall look for you on the field at the Nardum. Mark my words. Uh oh. <laughs> How shall I? Mayhap I shall take eleven more Dothar heads to make a dozen with yours. I, I look forward to the day. I look forward to the day. The dispute will be settled at the Nardum? <laughs> a great battle held on the final day of the Sahan San. During this time, all bonds of hierarchy are broken. All Zela are equal and free to prepare for the fight. Interesting. The tribe which triumphs in the Nardum rules until the next Sahan San. Oh. Which in these lands is now. Oh god. Ah, so that is what they call the custom. I presume your tribe will also be taking part? Not all seek the Dawn Throne. Some are satisfied with their lot. Others, like the Kestir, have reason to remain neutral. Mm. The more are lambs among wolves. Long were we content to remain apart and live quietly, but... Mm. Never mind that. You see Kien, yes? I know where he may be. Oh, we can help you. I can help you, Serena. Long ago, my grandmother, having received a vision from the gods, bade me to go forth into the southern mountains. It was there that I found Hien, near death from many wounds. Oh, that's how you found him. I brought him to our village, and there we nursed him back to health. Afterwards, he chose to remain, that he might repay us for our kindness. Dolman set much store by honor and shame. So at first I did not question it. If I could see your map for a moment. Here, he has grown fond of this place. It affords him a few of the markets and the steep and the step. <laughs> I would accompany you, but I must return to our village to prepare my grandmother's meal. Thank you again for your assistance. Our long-awaited reunion is at hand. Come, my friends, let us go and meet our lord and master. Oh man. I want to help that girl, though. I want to help Serena. She looks like she's baby. The Kami are merciful, my lord Hien. I see you are alive and well. Oh. Ah, oh, you are come sooner than expected. So, my blade or my head, which would you have of me? <laughs> the people of Yansha remain loyal to Doma. I have seen the fire in their eyes. They are ready to rise up and fight. Yeah. Not less than liberty will suffice, then. A pity. It would prove far more difficult to deliver than my head. <laughs> But if my people wish to pursue an impossible dream, then who am I to deny them? True. Very true. They're gonna keep fighting. Oh! You giddy! Go, Asetsu! And, uh... The Scions of the Seventh Dawn, my lord. Good and true friends who opened their hearts and homes to us when we fled to Eorzea. Yeah! Far across the sea, they have journeyed to stand with us in the fight for Doman liberation. To oppose the Empire, as they have in the West, where they are lauded as heroes for their many deeds. <laughs> He's like, alright, stop! Say no more, you giddy. Say no more. <laughs> you giddy. I bid you return to Yansha and take charge of our forces in preparation for my homecoming. As for our esteemed guests, I would ask that you remain here with me. True. Since you will be a great help in the coming days. <laughs> of yeah. Your will is my command, my lord. But how much longer do you intend to stay? Oh, only until I have won the contest. I mean to return at the head of the Zayla army. What? <laughs> you mean to participate in the Nardum? Oh my God! <laughs> Why? Have you a better idea? Consider how soundly you were defeated before. The Imperials may have since grown weaker, but we are weaker still. Oh, are you trying to 
get allies? It would be folly to challenge them without first supplementing our forces. So, yes, I intend to win the Nada. Oh. And enlist the aid of every able-bodied Zayla I can. That's not a bad idea. He's kind of cute. Oh. Are you the leader? Oh, wait, are you Serena's grandmother? I am come to beg a boon of you and yours. That I might liberate my homeland, I seek to rally the strength of the steppe. To that end, I wish to fight in the Nardum as a warrior of the Maw. Will you grant me this honor? To stand with the Maw is fruitless. He and do not do this. The gods may have willed that our tribe join in the Nardum, but... There is no path to victory. We are weak and our numbers few. Even with your help, it would be impossible. But I'm here. I got you. I thank you for your concern, Sirena. But it is precisely because of the seeming hopelessness of your cause that we must needs cast our lot with you. Were we to join hands with the more favored tribe, our victory would inevitably be attributed to them. And no one would follow me to Doma. Mm hmm As Hartun of the Mall, I invite you all to join with us in the Nardum. Eh. Oh shit. This already reminds me of when we were together in Heaven Sword. What? Are they having a sword fight? <laughs> Whoa! Bro. Mina's little master Shun. What a fine young man you've become. Oh. A man should not be addressed by his childhood name. I've told you about that before. <laughs> ah, the mask slips. And I was so close to cultivating a winning persona. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Hey, guys. Shun, was it? <laughs> Yes, yes. It is a name my parents gave me as a child, but I should like to think I have long since outgrown it. Oh. <laughs> but as you seem determined to bring it back into use, I believe a match is in order. If I win, you will be honor bound to divulge one of your darkest secrets. Um. <laughs> oh boy. On the eve of the Nadam. Many strive to improve their fortunes, some by abducting and enslaving the warriors of other tribes. What the hell? What? Be ever mindful of your surroundings, lest you be taken as well. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, there it is. Looks like a dungeon. Right. This must be the pass that leads to Bardom's Metal. They say no foreigners have overcome this trial, but... Well, there is a first time for everything, no? Yep. Yes! The Bardom's Metal is now accessible! Alright, cool. Okay. This is the trial! Okay. Oh my god. Like, we literally do not fight. We, do, we cannot use any of our skills. Oh! It's I just noticed! a trial. I just noticed get away from it and look away oh, i fucked up oh rip huh. get in one oh shit uh well okay this doesn't have any fighting at all 
It's just to see if you're actually good at dodging AoEs. <laughs> Basically. Yes, that one is like the only one that was like that in, in mm -hmm. this dungeon. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. It's very well planned out. I yes, liked it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough, God damn it! <laughs> Why? I was too late! <laughs> I should have known you'd be the first to make it through. <laughs> of course. Hey, Elise! I thought it was Hien for a second. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no! There are more! You! Yea, you who have walked Bardon's metal. Newborn warriors of the steppe. Our Han demands an audience. You will come. What the fuck? If it all goes to plan, they will be fighting for us soon enough. What say you? Shall we go and greet our comrades to be? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Most radiant brother Magni, we have brought the ones you seek. Oh, uh, hello. You conquered Bardem's metal. Yes, we did. As warriors of the Mall, I swear fealty to the sun. Pledge to him your body and soul. Promise to serve him unto death, and you may know his glory. Ah, uh, hard pass, please. <laughs> Seems our brothers of the Budaga want you. Oh. The men only. Uh, excuse me? Like the Borlak and women. Though you know them not either, I'm sure. No matter. All you need know is that you will serve one way or another. No. <laughs> that much does indeed seem plain. However, as we are but newborn warriors who know little of your customs, we struggle to conceive of ways in which we might be of service to the most gracious and illustrious son. Yeah. You make mock of us, Doman. Do not do so again. No, fuck you! Warriors of the Steppe. By the grace of our most radiant brother, you will not die this day, but instead be granted an opportunity to contribute to our cause. Oh, the w this one carries the fire. The Bugud Baduga would take this measure. Oh God. Seek my comrade outside tending to the stores. He will give you your task. You will know him by his cloth. Unlike they of the yellow, we are of the, the green. I, for one, would welcome the opportunity to learn more of the Baduga and their ways. It would be an honor. <laughs> we shall speak of your task outside. With me. Okie dokie. So I did my stuff. Oh. It's like that Namazu dancing emote. I want to be able to unlock it at some point, but so far I haven't yet. I've only unlocked like the Kojin one so far, but the rest I will have to see for myself. <laughs> we never intended to press you into our service, and tribute offered in good faith cannot be denied. To grant you not in return would be an affront to the Father Azim. However, the boon must be proportional to the supplications. What you ask far exceeds of what you earn. And if we must remain here, would you at least permit us to learn more of your people and your ways? It's not a bad idea. Greetings! I trust all of our little explorers are safely accounted for? That they are. My thanks to you, Domen. Now, you had questions for me? Aye. I would know more of the Ornir, of their creation, and of Father Azim. As you wish. 
Come, let us sit. Okay, cool. Story time. Before we begin, tell me, what do you know of the Aura and how they came to be? In the days before men, Azim and Nama waged a bitter war. But then they fell in love, right? Yes, yes, a common tale. And one believed by many tribes. But what it does not mention is this. Azim and Nama were lovers. Yes. I confess, I did not expect the tale of your people's beginning to be quite so romantic. Yeah. A pity you will not pledge yourselves to the sun. You might have proved useful in the coming Nadam. Nevertheless, I will permit you to return and fight for the mole. Their cause is futile, with or without your assistance. However, you must first complete a final task, as was my decree. You will reconnoiter the encampment of Darthal? What? For this task, two will go, and two will remain. Okay. Should the two who embark upon this expedition choose to flee, or be captured or killed by the Darthar, then the others will be taken as slaves and serve the sun unto death. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Brother Magni, a word. The Buduga require that a hostage may be male. For if these ones fail, we cannot accept a woman as a slave. <laughs> You know what? Good luck with that! <laughs> I doubt neither either of you are the moon I seek. But stranger tales have been told. And men are no are of no use to me. <laughs> I don't know what this moon stuff is that he's going on about, but I don't like the sound of it at all. No, of course not. The woman I seek is of the dusk. A gentle, ethereal maiden. A dancer in the morning mist. Ooh! You are warriors of the steppe, fierce and brutal, conquerors of magic stone and steel. Ethereal, you are not. Well. Over there, look! Those men are in danger! Okay. Oh no. Duh. Too late for that one, perhaps, but there's yet time to save the other. Oh no. Come! We cannot abandon him to his fate. All right, I got you. Who? How he died matters not. Gesser was a great warrior. He will return to us in time. Oh. I do not understand. If Gesser is dead, how should he return? Yeah. Silence! You come to spy on us, knowing naught of our ways. We know you are fearless, and that you are called the Undying Ones. That is true. None are braver than the Dothal, for we do not fear death. With death, a warrior must dance boldly, fearlessly, for thus does his soul burn bright. <laughs> Interesting. Then, in death, his soul shines white, exalted. The flesh rots, but the soul endures. And ere the seasons have turned, so he shall return. Oh. When he is glimpsed in the eyes of a newborn, he is blessed with the same name, that he may grow into a great warrior once more. Oh. You mean to tell me these newborn babes and fallen warriors are one and the same? Madness! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Gosetsu! I gave you leave to observe, not to insult our beliefs. Uh oh. Have care what you say. Otherwise, do as you will. Oh, Christ. That got me intimidated. Holy shit. Hey, I think I remember you. 
You were at the market. Yeah, I remember you doing that too. The spies return. And they have learned not. Mayhap so, but no longer. The mall you mock a few, but so too are you. Why? Uh-oh. Though a glorious death is to be celebrated, it is yet death. Oh. While we kill many, many are killed in, in turn. In wake of our battles, the soil drinks deep of the blood of the fallen. Their bodies piled high. Not all are born again, only the bravest. Yet one cannot return unless there is a vestal to inherit the soul. And if warriors die ere they birth children, then that is that. Ever will we meet our enemies in battle without fear. Such is our way, even when our numbers dwindle. If we die, so be it. But know that we fight to live, not to die. Interesting concept. Dothar'll train and make ready for the day, but they do not rush to meet it. Not until we have done our duty. Oh, there it is. There's his corpse. Left for the vultures. It seems an insult to the man. Yeah. But the soul lives on, they say. These bodies, no more than empty husks, returning to the earth. Seen through those eyes, I suppose the sight is almost comforting. Yeah, very true. Pardon me? <laughs> oh! When first I heard the tales, I could not help but scoff. Another queer tribe, I thought. <laughs> queer a custom. <laughs> Yet having borne witness to their rights, I cannot deny there is a certain logic to it all. A samurai will die for his lord without hesitation or regret. But this is not because he delights in such sacrifice. Because he has faith that his death will serve a higher purpose. There is an awakening in that instant. When the heart sings and the blood burns and his soul his soul finds peace. comfort in that mm -hmm. the fuck oh shit I was tearing up for a sec they, these guys came <laughs> all that you have seen and heard your knowledge I would have it Okay, we'll do our best to explain. No secret stratagems, you say. That is well. I expected as much. Meet us on the battlefield and make ready to ride with your ancestors. Such were the words of their cartoon, Sadu. Uh-oh. Speak not that devil's name in the presence of the most radiant. <laughs> How are we supposed to know that? By your deeds have you proven yourselves to be warriors brave and true. You may return to the mall and make ready for the Nadam. On one condition. To fight in the Nadam is to be bound by it. Swear, here and now, to abide by the law of the steppe. To accept the supreme authority of the Kagan, whomsoever it may be. We swear. I'm ready. Let's go. I see you, soil bearers. Oh. 
Okay. To triumph in the Nadam, you and your allies must race to, from Moldol to, towards the Uwu in the distance while fending off attacks from other tribes. Interesting. Once you have a ride at the Uwu, you must claim it for the Mol, but be warned that the warriors of other tribes can do so as well, and only the first will be crowned Han. Ha ha oh shit. So I have to run really fast for this. I assume I, I actually have to win, otherwise I have to do this again. Grant us favor, O oh mother of the dusk, and to victory guide the Mol. Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, there it is, the Uvu. Why don't you just take it, bro? Oh shit, I can't just do that. <laughs> oh. Claim it, 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 claim it. Come on. No, no, fuck you. Ah. No way. You came as I knew you would. For you too are a warrior of the steppe. I salute you, traveler, and should be honored to face you alone. But the Thothal thirsts for blood and will suffer no duels. Bear witness, Father Azim. The soil shall drink deep of blood this day. Holy shit. Oh my god! Rise, brothers of the sun! Hey. No, your place. No! Don't do that to Serena! Bitch! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! In death do our souls sing! Oh my god! Are you serious? Fudge, 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 fudge! Oh my god! Go, Serena, go! Oh, wait. I got this! I got this, 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 I got this. Woo! Victory! Now, hearken to me. The step has spoken. The Nahan is. Me! The Mole have won! The Dawn Throne is ours! Yay! Yay, Serena! We did it. And you, my friend, you, you were magnificent. Magnificent and, uh, not a little terrifying. <laughs> what a strange tale this has become. To think I suffered them to live. <laughs> Admit defeat. On your guard, Utun. The wind warns of men in iron. What? <sighs> Fucking piece of shit! Oh my god. Hearken to me! We have to fight them! I thought I'd find you here, Aeosian! Dearest of all my enemies! I don't miss you, man. <laughs> Today's the day I finally get to kill you! And then they'll give me a shiny medal and my choice of posting! Bloody perfect it is! Well, go on then! Kill her! Kill them all! Come on, let's fight them! Hearken to me, honored warriors of the steppe. Yes! Our enemies intrude upon this sacred ground. Have you yet the strength to oppose them? You forget to whom you speak, Doman. We are the undying ones. We are Dothal! <laughs> yes! If this be the will of the Mole and their Han, so be it. The sun shall abide by the law of the step. Eh! <laughs> Warriors!
Masters of the Step, with me! Yes! Chained. Gotta give her some room. Oh my god, this has got me so hyped! 15 seconds. So we just gotta live long enough. She's black mage. She did her LB. Oh my goodness. That was good. Impossible. She was there for the taking. What do I have to do? Run. Just run. If we'd lose to the likes of him, and we're only gonna get stronger, stronger and stronger, until we're strong enough to take back everything they stole. That's right. I have kept my promise, Serena. They are yours to command. Yes, of course. <laughs> Brothers and sisters of the steppe, the Nardom is ended, and we Mull now claim the Dawn Throne. No demands shall we make of you, save these. Heed our comrades' words. And honor the law of the step. Yes, Serena. Go ahead, Lord Hian. Before I fought for the Mall, I fought for my homeland, for Doma. Oh, and he just explained so everything like that? You have us go to fight your war and win your freedom. It is a battle. Very well. The battlefield matters not, nor else the enemy. In battle do our souls burn bright. Yeah! And better the mole's law than that of the sun. Arrogant and foolhardy were their pronouncements. Already you and yours show better sense. <laughs> the sun shall answer your call, Doman. Wild as the wind the Atun and her brood may be, but they will deliver you naught. We will deliver you your kingdom. <laughs> Sounds like a competition. <laughs> Serena, calm them, please. Weak and few as we are, the Mole will fight for Doma too, if you will have us. Yes. Well then, I believe naught remains but to return to Doma at the head of a Zela army, my lord. I cannot wait to see the look on Yugiri's face. <laughs> Nor I. 
We shall depart as soon as our forces are assembled and rejoin our comrades. And then, my friends, we shall bring freedom to the people of Doma! Yay!